Okay, well this uh, coffee break, I want to just uh, look at the whole thing of serving one another uh, across nations and across cultures. And um, sadly, for many years, uh, people in the West have often uh, had uh, perhaps a good heart, but have not outworked things very well in terms of how they've served into some of the developing world. Yeah. Uh, and I'm here again with my good friend Edward Berea, and uh, we work uh, together yes. and we serve one another's yes. churches. Yes. And um, uh, what do you think, Edward, are some of the key lessons that people perhaps in the West need to learn about serving people in developing world situations? I think, number one, I will just say something very important. It's, it's very important for us to be able to see what the scriptures are saying in the book of uh, Ephesians, that uh, he, he, when he ascended, he gave gifts. Mm. And uh, these gifts were not just meant for one locality. It's again a cross. Yes. So, so we have apostles in the UK, we've got apostles in Africa. Yeah. We've got apostles in India and, and the like. And I think uh, mutual... Uh, first of all, being able to appreciate that fact and respecting mm. giftings, and that that way we just open our spheres and say, "Look here, you are gifted." Mm. We realize you you've got an evangelistic mm. um, gifting that we don't have in this country. Mm. Come and serve us. And the, the, the same, we ourselves back in Africa, we we need this maybe teachers, and we just open ourselves for the same. I think the second one is uh, for us to quickly be reminded of how Paul. They have to wait for this Macedonian call. The, 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 the brothers are asking, come and help. And I think that's the attitude that we need to, to have, when, even when it comes to the kind of relationship we have with you, is just being able, and one of the things I've enjoyed so much with you is uh, when you ask, uh, Edward, how can we serve you better? So the Macedonian call uh, was, come and help us, was, uh, was not, was not uh, the brothers coming from Jerusalem to come and uh, lord it over. They just waited for this coin, you know, and they came in and they had to sit down and ask, mm. how can we then mm. serve you? So I think these are the two things that will be able to help mm. us is a appreciation of the giftings, uh, which we'll find them in different countries where we're working. But number two is just an, a willingness of being able to ask that question, how can we serve you? Mm. These are really helpful things. So that's something to think about as you're drinking your coffee and pondering that and perhaps uh, you're involved in leading a church or you've got a desire to plant a church. Well, um, it's important that we reach out across the nations, but it's also really important that the way we reach out is really helpful and yes. that we, as Edward is saying, we share gifting across the different nations, yes. but we also ask one another the questions, how can we help you? What do you yes. need? Yes. Rather than we've got this, we think you should exactly. have it. Exactly. So uh, that's another one to think about over coffee. And let's hope that uh, and trust that in the coming years we see many strong links across different nations as churches humbly ask each other, how can we serve you?